Hello everyone, I am Sikandar Abu Rakib. Welcome to my Laravel Basic video tutorial series. In my last video tutorial, I talked about model. This is video tutorial number 6. In this video tutorial, I will talk about views, which is the second element of MVC design pattern. What is views? Views contain the HTML supplied by your application. Views also separate your controller or application logic from your presentation logic. Views are stored in resources views folder like here resources views folder. Now I am going to explain a bit about my environment here. I opened here sublime text and this is my project. Now I'm going to start my development server, PHP artisan serve. And also I am going to the browser. And now I am explaining about the views. Here we keep our views file. For example, welcome.blade.php file. This is the view file that we get from here so if i want to create a view file i will go to resources views folder and create new file and if i give the name of my view file is employee underscore view dot php and save it and i am giving the php opening and closing tag and if i write echo hello world and save it now i am going to create a route to call the view file to do that i need to go to route files i'm going to create a route route get anonymous function here i will write return view and i need to write the view file name here in our case the view file is employee underscore view we need not to give any extension and if i save it and i don't want to see it right now instead i am going to see this view so instead of displaying the traditional welcome page the application is displaying our view file as we are telling the route file to display our view file instead of this file all right now i will show you how to send data from routes file to view file that means if i want to send some data from this route file to view file how i can do it actually in real application we will not call our view from the route file we will call it from our controller or model but basically from the controller file but as i did not explain the controller that's why i am showing it from the routes but in actual application this view file will be called from the controller in most cases so i am going to create an array i am giving here some value and i am saving it so here i am sending some value as a form of array along with the view and i am going to this employee file and going to echo employee and here I am adding some line break and also adding some HTML tag, H1 tag. And here also I am adding some HTML tag and closing H1 tag and a line break. All right, so far so good. Let us see it. Okay, if I check here, oh, oh, it will be like this associative array of php okay okay this is the thing now if i go to my web.php file and write some variable like uh, employee is equal to alex miller and if i want to pass this variable here instead of this hard code I should be able to send it. Yes, value is coming. And now 
if I create another variable actually an array and I write uh, this array will have a name property name John Doe and age property is 27 okay now I will want to send this variable so I am writing here so if I do this like uh, keeping the previous one as it is if I want to send another variable employees and the variable name will be employees so in my view file I will pick up this variable in this name let us go to the employee view file and here also I am giving one tag echo horizontal line and now if I want to echo out echo dollar employees and also the age so now I'm going to see okay so we are getting the value of the array John Doe and age 27 but I did not put any uh, starting HTML tag that's why it is still small so we are getting the value we are getting the value from uh, uh, the variable it is from the view file and it is from the router file uh, and from the uh, variable and it is from the value coming from the array so now if I create another variable employees 2 and here I want to put this model value this model we created in our last tutorial to retrieve the data from MySQL database from the employees table uh, and for doing that I started MySQL to retrieve the data from our database so I am trying to get the database values into this variable as a form of array and I am trying to send this data here like employees 2 and if I go to PHP file echo uh, for each that will be the array object so employees 2 as employee and here echo employee and we are putting the h1 tag in front and the closing tag okay uh, employees variable okay okay we can create we could delete it but I'm not wanting to delete it delete it that's why I'm creating another element of that that array so now we are getting the database values but in not in the decent form so I'm going to show it in the proper way but before that let me 
organize the thing a bit. Okay, now <clears throat> the things is same. One thing I could do and before showing here that is employees as employee and this line will go inside and here I will not mention the specific index so uh, I made the mistake here not employees employee okay what I am going to explain is we, we can uh, read the individual element of an array by this way and not this this and we we can also uh, read our array by for each loop here we are reading our array by for each loop and here we are reading individually by mentioning the index of the array like this here we are mentioning the index of the array name and age that's why it is giving the value here and here we are reading the array by for each loop like this by for each loop the same array same employees array here i'm going to print the name so a more readable form so as the return value is an array object so we can write in this way name the name property of that object for example name we are mentioning the name so if i refresh it so here is the value a three value from coming from the mysql database so we can read the uh, value from hot code and variable and we can read the value uh, from array and we can read the value from database by using the view all right now i am going to show the another way okay i am going to cut this portion from here and adding a chain method with and putting my stops that i cut previously pasting into here so if i go and refresh okay save it okay now we are getting the same result that means we can send our data by using the with method so i have shown the two ways how we can send our data to the view file so this is that i wanted to explain i hope this tutorial will be informative for you if you have any question please leave it in the comments in the next tutorial i will discuss about laravel controllers so i will see you next tutorial thank you for watching the video